Greetings! It's me, Firebee, and welcome back to the Binding of Isaac Rebirth. Last time, we had a really good run with Isaac. We went down and beat Mom's heart, and we also managed to beat Satan while we were at it. Uh, unlocking Judas and Eve, and also Mom's knife. So, that's pretty cool. And today... Well, I said I was going to play Judas, didn't I? Let's play Judas. And it's a cellar floor. So, Judas starts off with some really good damage, but only one heart also starts off with the Book of Belial, which charges, you can use it every three rooms, and... Uh, gives you a lot of damage in the room that you use it in. Our first item is the doctor's remote. That's really not useful. Maybe if there's a place to bomb for something I'll come back for it, but right now that's not useful to me at all. That's essentially a reusable uh, spacebar version of Epic Fetus that you can use every two rooms. So, not incredibly useful to me. Oh, this room's probably worth it. Just to get this guy out of the way. It's nice to start off with this kind of damage, though. Very nice. Come here, Ath. No, 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 no. Get blown up. Hoist on your own petard. Alright. Down this way is spiders. Also a shop. Not that I can do anything about that. A lot of spiders. Oh, this is one of the more annoying rooms. Thankfully I have enough damage to deal with them. I'd appreciate some tears up though. That'd be nice. I think that's kind of the primary thing. Health and tears up. So... Like the blue cap mushroom would be really nice to get from the boss now. Nope. No touching me. It's not allowed. I don't allow spiders to touch me. That's just straight on the banned list. No doubt about it. Come on, spiders. Just cease to exist already. Come on. Get out of here, spider. There we go. A key is pretty nice. Oh, good. More spiders. At least these want to run away from me. No, no, no. Oh, you little shit. Fuck it. This is worth it. It's worth it enough. Just because I don't have to deal with those spiders. Get out of here. Hopefully there's enough rooms to recharge that. I'm going to go back for a heart, though. Because there should be one in... Yeah. Over in the item room. That's the only problem with this character. They start off with only one heart. So getting health early on is important. Guppy's fall might be nice. That's a wall, not a door. Ah, damn. I'm not going to be able to use this on the boss. I guess that'll be fine. Might as well pop all these. And I'm going to backtrack just a little bit. Going to use the Doctor's Remote on that rock there. Just to give myself a little bit of extra health for the boss fight. Hopefully I won't need it, but knowing me, I might. So. Better to have the health than to die and not be able to use it. So I'm going to stand over here. Well, I do have some keys, so what's in here? Yeah, fuck you too, game. And I'll go back for 
Book of Belial, because that's pretty good. Thankfully, this is a small floor, so the backtracking isn't too significant. Is there anything else on the floor to work with? No. Too bad. Not even a curse room. Not that I'd actually want to go in one. It's kind of a death sentence for this character. It's the haunt. I'd really like to have the Book of Belial for this. That'd be terrific. No, 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 no. You little shit. I'm probably gonna die here. Yep. Fuck the haunt! Let's try this again. Oh, there's a curse room. Oh, nice! Virgo, refreshed and protected. Got a nice bow, and it gives us a chance at a, uh, a Polaroid like shield. Also, I think it gives some sort of uh, heart heal if you're not at full health. I'm not sure on that. But I assume so. So if I get some soul hearts, I'll look into the curse room, because early curse rooms are generally pretty nice. Thankfully, this isn't a cellar floor, so I don't have to worry about the haunt on this one. Nope. That room's just no. Hey, 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 no. Petrified poo, okay. I mean, I guess. Famine, yep. Definitely using Book of Belial in here. Not the Famine has a huge amount of health, but always good to have. That was a lucky place for you to stop. This is a champion version of Famine. It looks like they don't spawn anything. But they shoot. Also, they do that rather than just the three. No! But I think you're gonna drop a soul heart when you die. Like, guaranteed to. All of bandages? Sure. Okay. So far, not too bad. Since I do have that soul heart, I'm willing to risk it in the curse room. Could get something good, could get spiders. Guppy's paw! Sure, we'll just use that right away. I'm really dumb. Really, really dumb. I should have switched that back immediately. Instead, I just gave up a soul heart. This, this may be riddled with deaths. Since I am not particularly good with my health. But, uh... Well, uh... We'll just have to see how it goes. Curse of the Blind. That's no fun. I don't have enough bombs for that quite yet. I don't like going in there if I don't have a third bomb. However, I generally consider it quite worth it if you, I do. Oh, hey. No. Kill this fire before something jumps into it. That something may be just me. It's a question mark! Ah, oh, it's the best item in the game. It is the Bolotar! Sticky feet. Okay. Leaves a trail that slows things down if they walk in it, gives us a chance to shoot, uh, slowing tears, kind of like Little Gish, except it's us. It's, it's pretty neat. I like it. Things that slow other things down are some of my favorite items. Because uh, being faster than other stuff is always a good thing in pretty much every situation. In fact, I can't think of very many where it's better to be slower, unless you're doing Trick Room or something. 
But that's a completely different thing. Nope. No. Ball of bandages is doing work. It's kept me from getting hit at least twice now. There's a key I can't really get to. I'm gonna use this here. I shouldn't have used this here. It was really dumb of me. I didn't even think to look at my map. I thought the floor was gonna be bigger. Still think this is kinda worth it. There's not too many bosses that'll be super an issue. And if I can get a battery to drop, that's a pretty low chance. But if I could, that'd be great. Must be another one. There it is. Oh, there's a red heart. That's that's really fun in game. Um I'm gonna I'm gonna bomb into the uh into Isaac's bedroom. Just because there might be something there that could be worth it. Could be a spider though. But I don't think it's uh completely impossible to get bombs in there. Actually, there's a room here. Oh darn. So hard though. Actually I'll wait. Since I have three soul hearts now. I think that's enough though. I'll probably come back for that though. And it's Monstro, yeah, I don't need I don't need the Pokemon Belial for this. I can handle that just fine. Just fine on my own. Anything that's slowed is automatically a dozen times easier. Regardless of what they do, whether they jump, whether they shoot things, automatically a lot easier. Look at that. Monstro can't even touch me. That normally goes all the way to the wall. Not now. Nope. Shoot at me again. Yeah, that's pathetic, Monstro. Come on now. You're just jumping right in the slowing stuff. Oh joy, what's this? A snack. An HP up. Okay. Red health is neat. I don't know what that is. It could be Dark Bomb. It could be Brother Bobby. It could be anything good or bad. I feel that my health is more worth it, so I'm going to leave it. Hmm. That's pretty much everything on the floor. I'm just going to head down. I don't have enough bombs to make uh, the bedroom really worth it. Curse of the Lost. I'm getting curses an awful lot this run. That's just not good. At least it's not a curse of the, what is it, the blind or something? I think that's the one where you can't see your health. I'm not sure. I can't keep some of the new ones straight yet. The one where you can't see your health is quite literally the worst curse ever. Curse of the Unknown is kind of bad. And it's probably bad for those that want to race the game because it makes it hard to ban items. Because if you have a Curse of the Unknown, you could just pick up a banned item without knowing it. But it's still annoying, even for, you know, ordinary playing. But I still feel that not being able to see your health is far, far worse than not being able to see what items are. Oh, you little shit. You little shit. I'll keep calling you that until you stop shooting at me. No. Hey, there's a tinted rock there. They did a good job of kind of hiding these. Thank you. And then here is 
a troll bomb, and a key. Thanks, game. You are truly the best to ever exist. There we go. One cent, okay. Oh, well, sure. That's the entire point of this curse, that you go the wrong way every single time. Because you have no way of knowing where you're going. Unless you have some great luck or something. Come on, you're not even you're not even good. You're not even Larry Jr. That's how bad you are. You can't even be Larry Jr. Instead you have to be a variant that's not even as good as him. No, no, no. There we go. Huh. My damage is not actually that terrific for the caves. That's interesting. I mean, it's not bad, but it's not what I'd like to have. Ah, shit. I hate these things. Oh, fuck you! Oh, hey, there's the Virgo thing kicking in. Of course, it hits on the last... last hit. Uh, I'm gonna take on the boss since it's right here. Mega Man. No, Mega Maw. Same thing, really. If you stand over here, you're pretty much safe. Except for the fire. And even then, you can just kind of dodge it. Generally. If you're good, you can dodge it. But you're not getting hit with homing brimstone and such. Ooh, a black heart. Wow, excuse you. Halo. Not bad. All stats up is pretty good. And since I denied that devil deal, I get an angel room now. Oh, right. I can't put that out. Uh... Rare card's pretty neat. I'm not going to take it with me, but I'll use it. Get a free eternal heart, and as long as I don't lose my three soul hearts, I'll get an extra HP up in the next floor. It's not bad. Let's see if we can't find the item room before leaving the floor, though. Don't have enough money for the shop, unless that's a library, but there's no real way to know. Without using a key, and I'd rather not. Okay. Obviously, I'm going the wrong way for that. Wait, did I go to the item room already? I may have. I may have and forgotten. That's... No. Let's go down this way. Down another one? These giant floors always confuse the heck out of me, because I have no clue where I am. Come on. Oh, you little shit. Well, now I have a dam- Now I have a shield, so you can get fucked over by the- I almost called it the cube of meat. That's the ball of bandages. Yeah, I knew I hadn't gone to the item room here. Nope. No. Consider not doing that, yeah? Seems like a good idea to me. Nope. 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 Alright. Bombs are cool. Item rooms are cool. That's, uh, Thunder Thighs. HP up, speed down, you feel stompy. Wow, that's a fairly hefty speed down. Huh. Ah, uh, this room's not really worth it. I thought there might be some rocks in here. Thank goodness for orbitals. They are the best thing ever. Don't let anyone tell you different. 
Are there even any rocks to stomp on this floor? Seems like a pretty rock-free floor. Huh. Oh, no, here's some. Here's where they all are. Well, you knew the consequences for doing so. Nothing in here is nothing worth it. Alright, down this way. Over here. No. I'll find my way out of here. Eventually. Must be over this way. No, that's the way I came from. So it must be up here. Okay. Might as well. Since I can be stuck under the rocks. This would be really good if I got the lucky rock. Because I'd be getting so much money right now. Not that room. Has to be over this way. Yeah, I, I don't like this curse very much. Why not? Uh, these rocks are not actually worth it in my mind. Because I'm going to get myself hit by fire invariably. Next floor. Catacombs? Of course it's catacombs. Can't get in there. Oh, hey, rainbow hoop. It's the happiest poop ever. If you shoot enough of them in a rain... a... what am I saying? A unicorn probably appears. Probably. I mean, what else would, really? I'm gonna leave that be. In case I take a whole bunch of hits. Worth it. No. Oh yeah, that's right. You don't fight this guy from the side. Because they are just extremely annoying if you do. Because they do that! Without warning. Get out of here. Left hand. Probably better. You can get a whole bunch of good stuff out of red chests. And this makes for a higher chance of them to spawn. I think that these are like the second worst wall spider. Just because the pattern makes them a little bit hard to work with. Obviously the worst wall spider is the brimstone one. There's no real denying that. With the absurdly long uh, hitbox. It sticks around forever. Just in case there's something under these rocks. Uh, let's head down this way. Nope. Nope. Oh, you little shit. Nope. Haha, <laughs> no. I have to be careful with the hits I'm taking now. Well, that's neat. Really? Really, game? I mean, I'll take it, but... That's some piss poor range. Uh, pun not intended. I didn't even realize that was a pun, actually, until I said it. I'm gonna break these skulls, because there's gonna be stuff in them. There can also be these guys. Cool, that's kind of useless. You can also get Ghost Baby. Kind of odd. Stars card. I might hang on to that. Excuse me. Open your face, please. Oh. Those are always good. And Sue's. That's a new one that I've unlocked. 
two of them. I can use one then. It's a free map for the entire floor. So I'll take another one with me, actually. Because that's a lot better than anything else. I'll put the map away. So I don't need it all over the screen right now. I'm gonna use Buck of Isle here, just because this is not worth it. It's not worth getting hit. And these are quite annoying if you don't have damage. Dealing with them at close range is not terrific either. So. And I have enough rooms to deal with them. Or to, uh, be able to deal with the boss, rather. Three bombs. Sure. Two soul hearts. Sure. I'm down with that. Hey! That's what I was looking for. What's down here? That's Isaac's Fork. It's a trinket that essentially gives you red health regen. That's worthless for me. Because I'd really rather have a whole bunch of soul hearts right now. I'd rather not be missing red hearts to be able to regen them. So that's less than useful to me. And the left hand is so good to have. Oh, this room's crappy. Thankfully, we have the damage. This fire is kind of more of a threat to me. Oh, yeah, the other sacred room. Sure. What's it gonna give me? Well, uh, sure. For nine cents, why not? <laughs> Broken remote. No, I don't think so. That causes you to teleport every time you use your spacebar item. It would be useless for me. These are not soul hearts that you're giving out. The world, high priestess, I think the vision rune is actually technically better than the world card, because I don't think the world card shows the both the secret rooms. I could be wrong. But I like this better. The hollow, okay. I really don't actually need this, but whatever. I'll just make this a very quick fight. Hey, hollow. Cease to exist. There we go. Ah, uh, Satan's trying to tempt me again. Torn photo? Not bad. That's a pretty good tier rate. I like it. Might as well pop this boop over here. And in the double room we have... Oh, well, I mean, you just had to tempt me with this. And I think the answer is... Yes? Fuck yes. Dark Bum, yes. Uh, Little Brim is... It's pretty nice to have, but I think I end up just kind of not using them as much. Let's see what's in the chest. Some flies, okay. I think I'd rather have my health overall. What else on the floor? Two rooms I haven't explored. The shop. And a battery. That's not worth backtracking to. We'll just go down. Let's see. It's a time 15. If I can get down past this floor and through the next one in, well, five minutes. I can try to do the boss rush, but I kind of doubt it. Not quite that fast. Especially with Thunder Thighs. Because that's a fairly significant speed down. I can just pop those by walking in them. 
I always forget that's a thing I can do. Alright. Sure. Oh, right. I have the Ansu's rune. I can see exactly where I'm headed. Cease existing, please. That'd be great. I'm probably not going to have any troubles with health on this run with Dark Bum here. Strength? Not bad. I'll take it. Alright. This card is the Hermit. I don't have enough coins for it. And here is two soul hearts. Thank you. Oh. Where'd that come from? I don't even know. I'll take it though. I'm going the wrong way. This is a fairly large floor actually. Over this way. That's the way I want to go. Come on. Just die. Nope. Come on. Just die already. Thank you. I'll take that. And then one more, it won't actually be worth taking anymore. Judgment? That's actually better to have with me. Tower? Nah. I'll take Judgy. Whoa! Let's just wait for you for a second. Yeah, no. And the chest is a pair of pills. Could be anything. Bad guess. Cheers up. Okay. These are both good things. Well, I mean, bad gas is not necessarily good, per se. Well, this is a room I highly dislike. Huge room just for those two little ghosts. Red heart. Ha ha, how about no? Nope. Nope. These guys catch me off guard with their necks every time, though. Like that. Oh, well. You chose the wrong day. Because I have a ball of bandages. Chemical peel. That's damage up on half of our face. Hey, sir. Cease existing, please? There we go. Magician. Eh, magician could be nice, but I'm going to hold on to judgment. Wow. Another judgment card. Okay. Two of clubs. Sure. Double our bombs. A third judgment card. Okay. Double our money. I mean, at this point, I kind of have to. Judgy, please, give me something good. That's that's not good. You're going to blow yourself up. Oh, no. Uh, Judgy, take two. Please. Come on, guy. Don't blow yourself up, please. Nice. Breakfast, HP up. It's alright. And I'll take the last judgment card with me. I'm not getting the boss rush now, I know it. Yeah, 18 minutes. I'm not getting down through the next floor in two minutes. That's just not happening unless I get an Emperor card or something. I mean, it's not impossible, but it's less than possible. Oh, right. Oh, well, huh. You guys chose the wrong time. Because you can just get become smitten with the cube of bandages, which isn't even a cube, it's a ball. Why do I say cube? Who even knows? Did I even check the secret room? I think I just walked right by without even checking for it. This speed down is something else. 
Yep. Uh, somewhere around here, I think. No? I don't know where to bomb in these rooms. Like, people have said a certain amount of steps away from an edge, but... I don't even know. I just prefer bombing from the small rooms. Because you can just know the middle of the wall. Oh, well, this was useless. That's not worth two bombs. If I had a, you know, a space for item that I was using more often, maybe. But no. It's not incredibly worth it there. We'll check in on the other secret room on the way down. Oh, right. I forgot. I forgot Dark Bum was tagging along. That somehow completely skipped my mind. Okay. This room is a thing that exists that I don't like. This room's better. Although flies are certainly not fun. Although at this point in the game, I'm, I definitely have enough damage to deal with them. Alright, and then the super secret room is... That's the pinky eye. I'm not going to take it. It gives occasional poison tears, but the left hand is so much better. Oh, shit. Mom's hand's coming. At least one. Just one. Okay. I can handle one of them. Right, nothing under those. Just that guy. I'm not going to even bother with him. Loki! Hello, Loki. I bet you're going to be annoying with your little slide thing. Those are one of my least favorite things in the game. Spiky things that slide around randomly. This one isn't even random. Oh. Hey, I have a shield. Coin purse. Sure. Actually, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna take those pills yet. Let's check what's in here first. Um... That's Horror Babylon. I have a lot of health right now. So, not right now. No. Pill is speed up. Thank you, game. Tears up. This one is full health. That's not very useful. And bad gas, which I don't care anything about. Definitely not getting the boss rush this run. I think I'd really have to be set up to kind of speed run to get down there in time. Or at the very least, not get an item that's a very large speed down. The Depths 2. Alright, that's a room that exists. Not a room I like very much. Although I do like the idea of the gravity things. They, uh... They messed me up more than I would expect, though. Nope, nope, nope. Wow. That was kind of pathetic in your charging. Slowing things down is the best, actually. And there is nobody that can deny it. Come on. Just cease to exist, little dinglings, or whatever you're called. I heard someone calling them that. It's fitting. Oh, right, I can walk into these things. I always forget about that. Uh, down this way, I guess. There's a room I highly dislike. Most of the ones with moving spikes are. Okay. Well, 
This is a thing. Nope. None of that. Oh, you little shit. Free coin. And a free soul heart in a minute. I'm actually surprised how much range I have right now. There we go. We almost have maxed out hell. It's awfully nice. Let's check up here for our secret room. There it is. Okay. Sure, I guess. Oh, right. I don't have to bomb those. I can walk in them. Oops. I don't generally like walking over the mushrooms because they can explode. Wish I had more speed for this room. That'd be terrific. Okay, down I guess? That's a curse room. I have enough health that that's worth it. Come on, go back on the spikes. There we go. Whole swarm. Neat trinket, but it's only cosmetic. The damage of the tears doesn't actually change, apparently. And in the curse room is... The goat head. So that's guaranteed devil rooms at this point. Every floor, no matter what. This is a dead cat. Nine lives. Coming back at only one red heart each. So I probably should have picked up poor Babylon. But oh well. So I technically just got rid of three red heart containers with that. But it's a piece of guppy, and it's the ability to come back nine times if I have to. So I think that's worth it. Uh, sure. Why not? We'll use Book of Belial in here. Soul Heart and a couple pills is probably worth it. It's not like I'm needing to get a certain time or anything. Come on, Loki. We already did this song and dance. I'm not a fan of your type of music. Just stop. Monstro 2! You're irritating. I'm not even in that direction. I don't know what you think you're doing. Yeah, no. I'm not even standing there. I don't know what you think is going on. But it's certainly not me standing to the sides of you. Whoop. Yeah, no, I'm not standing there. I don't know why you think I am. That's kind of weird, actually. Ah, just one more hit. There we go. Alright, one more boss, I believe? No. Okay. Full health pill. Useless. Bad gas pill. Similarly useless. Did all that for one soul heart. Huzzah! Still looking for the item room. Must be up this way. We'll try left first. That is the wrong direction. Actually, wait a minute. Hey, Dark Bomb. There's a red heart over here. Have fun. There we go. Must be up. Okay. I'll take it now. Pair of pills. Hmm. Balls of steel. Okay. Sure. And luck up. 
I'll take it. Wow. There's still so much more of the floor to do. Alright. Those are some of the best champions. This room is no threat to me. Nope. Oh, you little shit. No, 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 no. Fuck you. Hey, bum friend. Dark bum. I'm gonna mix them up forever, I think. Probably. Well, there's the boss room. But there's still an item room missing. Come on. Stop existing already. Just die. I almost have enough money to make judgment worth it. So it must be down this way still. Huh. This is a fairly winding map. I guess, kind of. Whoa! Almost walked right into that. Like I n normally do. Go. Um, sure. There it is. Last room on the floor. And it's Monster's Tooth. That was so not worth it. Two of diamonds. Sure. Absolutely. Guy, I'm, I'm gonna have to ask you to die now. Should have collected that last penny first. Would have given me 30 cents. Hey, Judgy, can you give me a good item as opposed to the bad item that this, that this room did? That'd be great. Come on. Come on, friend. You can do this. That's a heart. I'm sure Dark Bum's happy to see it. Not really an item though. Soul Heart. That's good. But that was from Dark Bomb. Strength card's alright. Sure. A portable slot. Sure. I'll play that a couple times. I thought I had luck up. That's about the worst luck I've had in quite a while. I'll leave you behind. You're not worth it. Uh, I might as well stop at the shop while I'm backtracking back to the boss. See if there's anything good in there. Might as well, since it is on the way. I'm not sure exactly what it might have that might help, though. But we'll see. Oh! Well, yes. That will help a fair bit. So, this is, uh, like, Mom's Purse, I think. It lets you hold two trinkets at once. That's not really what I'm ooing over. The thing I'm ooing over is this Champion Spelt. Damage, and you get more champion enemies. So, there's that. It's a thing exists that I'm happy about. 
and I'll donate the rest to the machine. Put that towards my future runs. Oh, almost 220. At least it didn't jam. Now it's time to take on Mom. Finally. Only 26 minutes in. To this run. Yes, what is it, Mother? Is that the sound of you getting destroyed utterly? Because it sure sounds like it. That's not really utter destruction, that's not a huge amount of damage, actually. It's alright, though. That ball of bandage is putting in work, though. There we go. Health up, I guess. Hey, Dark Bomb. I don't need that right now, but sure. Krampus. Krampus, how dare you, first of all. Give me coal. I already have a decent spacebar item. I don't need to clear rooms instantly. Nope. I didn't have enough speed for that. Oh well. Damage shield. Hey, what do you know? Lump coal. Luck up card. Uh, luck up card. Yeah. Wish it was a card. Bill. And I can take that. No. Might as well check these rocks. I don't exactly know what the rules are for finding whatever hidden room underneath them is. But we can go right down to the womb now. Alright. This room's easy. For this floor, at least. This is the floor I'd like to have uh, flying on. There's a few bosses that are made fairly trivial by having flight. So if I can find it, I'll be happy, but oh well if I don't. Huh. Another one of these. Nice. I'm a fan of this room. Nice and easy to deal with. This room a little bit less so, but not a challenge at this point in the game. Not with coal at least. Coal gives pretty good damage. I think I'll just use this in here. I think it's worth it. For all this stuff in here. That and there's pretty much guaranteed to be enough rooms to uh, charge it back before the boss fight. Come on, Dingle. Cease to exist already. You and all your little shits. There we go. A penny? Sure. Gurglings. Possibly my least favorite in anything. Oh, a battery. That's neat. In case there aren't enough rooms. Ah, oh, they don't say. Golden key is pretty nice. Might as well grab this other key while I'm at it. I'll let the battery sit here since the Book of Lyle's almost charged. In case I need a charge immediately. Eh, this room's not bad. It's a dead end though. Open your face, please. Thank you. Gotta be careful not to walk on the rock with a bomb in it, because it will explode right in my face. 
I haven't actually lo oh fuck you red poop in the room how dare you that's incredibly rude just putting in the doorways like that how dare you so rude I don't even think I have words for it I just don't exist Not standing there, it's gonna come back. That's the worst thing about it. It doesn't even go away when you pop it, it regenerates itself. Regenerative acid poop. That's gotta be a pain in the ass, I guess. Again, pun not intended. Although sometimes, yes, pun intended. I just didn't intend it there. Come on. I still haven't figured out what those things are supposed to be. Just weird tentacle things. Alright, there's poop in this room. You can't just go running through it. That room's pretty much guaranteed to hurt you, it seems. Unless you routine routinely stop just the instant you walk into a room. I don't like this floor layout. Oh, gotta be careful, that guy explodes. I know that particular champion. I might not know all of them yet, but I do know the ones that explode in my face. Generally. Okay, a red chest. With two soul hearts. Just what I needed. That was probably the worst impression I've ever made. Good thing I wasn't even trying. Alright, up this way? No. Oh. Right, I always forget that those are things that those things do. Hey! You get to be hit with ball of bandages. Become smitten with it. I wouldn't say no to getting another one of them. I'm not touching these because they can shoot at you, I think. One of them can, and I'm not sure which. One more hit. There we go. One of these days I'll have to figure out which ones are the uh, have the X's on them on this floor they're they get kind of increasingly difficult to notice as time goes on kinda interesting to see dingles down here wasn't really what I expected to see. Rusted key. It feels lucky. Nah. I'd take it along if it if I could carry two, but I can't. Gives a higher chance for uh for keys and chests to drop. So it's pretty neat. But I think the left hand is better. I think this is the first time I fought I fought death as a legit boss. Okay, no no no, that's that's some bullshit there. Uh-uh. Wanna -uh. come back, I think. Maybe not. Maybe it was just that one that did so. There we go. Well it's like I requested it. I'll take that. And all right, there's Spirit of the Night, which would give me flying and spectral tears. There's Guppy's Tail, which gives me a higher chance for um, whoop, just got teleported back in. Higher chance for uh, lock chest to drop. 
Plus, it's a second guppy piece. So, I will take that. Hey, Guppy Tearball! And I unlocked the Cat Got Your Tongue Challenge. Wait, that's my... That's my third guppy piece! Yes! I am Guppy Destroyer of Worlds! Yes! So, we are now, if, in case you can't tell, an adorable dead cat. Well, a little bit less dead. Hey, there's a rock there. Didn't know that. And, uh, well, we fly now. And, uh, we, we do some other things. Mainly spawn a shit ton of flies. Which you'll see. Down to the next floor! I'm feeling good about this run now. First time I've legitimately gotten Guppy outside of a challenge run. This ought to be good. A little bit late to be getting it, but oh well. I'm pretty much guaranteed to be able to go to Sheol this, uh, this time. So every time we hit an enemy, and I think also every time we get hit, we spawn uh, these blue flies. We can have a pretty much unlimited amount, and they do twice my damage, give or take. So... Speed up. Absolutely. What's this one? Tell me what this one is. Luck up. Sure. Wow, that does not look very good at, with that filter on. Why not? Sure. Guppy's head? Yeah. Give me a second and I'll pick that up too. Guppy's head. You can use it every room. Spawns. Flies. Like, between two and five of them per room. It's pretty nice. But it's nothing on the Book of Belial. Because Book of Belial is just a whole bunch of extra damage. So it'll just mean that we're clearing rooms instantly. Also, because we spawn so many flies right now, just getting two flies at the end of a room is just not worth it. Alright, is that it? And in here is... More flies, I think. Oh, this... The womb is just so laggy for me, unfortunately. Not sure why. If I could fix it, I absolutely would. Oh, no. Get out of here. Right, you only open up when you feel like it. Flies are probably going to deal with that. Or not. Hey, Dark Bomb. Thank you. Dark Bomb is seriously one of the best items. Turns a, turns a run from eh into yeah, I can probably survive everything. Another red chest. Spiders, okay. We're gonna get a lot more of those. Wow. The ball of bandages is just jittering around us. That's kinda crazy. Hey, cease to exist if you don't mind. That's right, I have flying now. I need to remember that. Not that it's going to be hugely relevant at this point, but it's nice to, to be aware of. We'll head over this way. Hey, are you the ones that do it? Are you? Maybe it's just random? I don't know. Health up. I'm not sure I wanted that. I mean, I guess I'll take it. It can't be too bad for me. Luck up? Sure. These rocks seem to drop hearts an awful lot. It's nice. This is a speed up hill. I'll gladly take that. I'm gonna be running like mad when I get down to shield. Okay, so now that one hurt me. So is it just random then? Cheers up. Yes, please. Come on, Dark Bomb. 
You lagging behind. Yeah! Seriously, the best. Monstro, you just don't stand a chance. Hi, Monstro. Bye, Monstro. Hi, Monstro's friend. Bye, Monstro's friend, who is also Monstro. Because... Reasons, I guess. I don't know. Maybe he found a way to, to clone himself. Is there nothing in these rocks? Come on. Has to be something under one of them. Wow. All of those. Absolutely nothing. More pills. These are full health. Bad gas. I'd have had that combo before. Let's see what's in here. Obviously, more red chests. There's pretty much no other choice at this point. Okay, that wasn't worth it. But I'm only losing one heart, so that's worth I guess, kind of. Eh. It's not something I can't get back. Don't do that. Sure, I'll take a key. I'm surprised I haven't had any things of Mom's hand coming down. Other than the one time. I'm not complaining, mind you. I'm happy about that. Really? That that was the entire room? That was it? Okay. Spiders are pretty nice. Uh, I can fly, so I don't need to worry about that. What's in here? Soul heart. Sure. Mom's heart time. Time for mom's heart to get utterly wrecked. With these flies. Look at that. That's a fair chunk of damage already. Come on, flies. Come on, heart. Down over here. Get wrecked by flies! I'm gonna save the strength card for a last minute thing. Oh, hey. There we go. I unlocked the experimental treatment, looks like. I'm not going in the chest because I can go down to shield. Oh my gosh, I'm so fast right now. Down we go! Experimental treatment has appeared. If I recall, that gives like plus one to everything and then it shuffles your stats. I'm not sure it's actually very good. Okay, I wish I had mapping down here, but I don't. Thankfully, I have Guppy, so. Pretty sure I can handle this. In before I get utterly destroyed. Whoa, where were you hiding? Oh, you came back. Hey, that should be equal to a soul heart, right? Yeah, thanks, Dark Bum. What a pal. Whoop. So fast. It's like Sonic or something. Ah. Uh, nope. I almost ran right into that. Too fast, almost. It's almost faster than I really want to be. I guess it's nice for evading stuff, but... So fast I'm gonna run myself into things. Cheers up. Haha, <laughs> sure. More chances for flies to spawn? Absolutely. We'll head this way. Now you need to die first. Eh, flies will deal with you. They're smarter than they were before. Or I could deal with you. It's an option. Spiders! Get out of here. Not even good. Hey! There we go. Since there's a ladder there, I know I can come back from it. You are hilarious. I don't want that. That's, uh... Well, it's either Mom's Pearl. But I don't think it is. 
I'm pretty sure that's the cursed eye. And I sure as fuck don't want that. So that's the cursed eye. That basically lets you charge shots. As opposed to just fire them normally. You can charge up to like five at a time and then let them go. But if you get hit while you're charging, you get teleported out of the room. It's a really dumb item. Like, it's a neat idea. But I don't like it at all. If it's Bomb Pearl, then it's probably something I want, but... Eh. I'm not really risking it. Plus, it's bouncing as if it's an item on a pedestal, so... It's probably not a trinket. Those tend to kind of sit still. Oh, well, you look pissed. Probably a reason you're chained to the wall. Oh. Spiders. Sure. Headless horseman. Alright. Now dead. I was about to say something like the deadless horseman, but that doesn't even make sense. Alright. Judas versus Satan. I'm gonna use... Book of Belial. Remember, the flies do about twice our damage if they're still on the same damage formula. So, there goes the Fallen splitting. There goes the rest of the Fallen. And here's phase two of the fight. Oh, I got myself hit. Whatever will I do? Ha! It's dead already! Oh my gosh! All right, foot time. Time for me to get stomped on a half dozen times. See, like that. Oh, well. Now it's just time for you to get wrecked. All right, there we go. I unlocked Judas's tongue, looks like. Let's go into the chest. I think all of these all the Sheol endings are the same. I think? Maybe not. Yeah. Poor Isaac. Judas's tongue has appeared in the basement. Alright. And there's a second piece of the uh, negative. All right, so I'll show off the ending. I think it's ending seven, most likely. This is what we would have gotten if I'd gone into the chest in the womb. Oh dear. That was probably not good. Alright. So, there we go. And that's an extra Eden token also. We're up to seven. I think I'll do an Eden run when I get up to ten of them, so three more wins and I'll do that. So that was Samson. No, that's not Samson. This is Samson, but that was Judas that I did. Judas still has to do the boss rush. That'll be an interesting thing. Some run when I don't get Thunder Thighs early on. I might be able to pull it off. That was pretty good. Judas is a good character if you can manage being at low health at pretty much all times. That one heart container can uh, mess you up in the early game. But once you get later on, that extra damage really helps. And Judas also unlocks some pretty good items, I think. For instance, the one that we just unlocked, Judas's tongue, is it's a trinket. And when you hold it, I'm pretty sure it just makes all... If it works the way I remember it working, makes all devil deals be one heart container just all the time so there's no chance for them to be at two heart containers for an item so that's pretty neat I guess 
Let's see, next time... Next time I think I'll try out Eve. It'll probably even be even more full of failure, but I might manage to pull something off. Who knows? Only way to find out is to check in next time. So, until then, farewell.